Right, so good morning, good day, good evening. This is Mr. Chill. I am going to develop further into the management of your buildings and your employees. Uh, I found out more yesterday when I was playing and yeah, so we are going to jump right into it. In the management, you have this buildings tab here and all the buildings that comes to resource gathering is not much you can do. You can just look. You always have to mark the one and then you press the F to open the details. Here you can assign workers, but there is no further tabs in these sections of, of the resource gathering. You have in the hunting lodge, the fishing lodge, the excavation shed and the woodshed uh, tab here. But you can see what they are working on. I mean, you probably know what you place them now you see my worker is on gathering, so all this comes active. If I place my worker as a hunter, he will get meat and leather. In this example, and in the fishing hut, there is even less for now. It's only fish. For the excavation shed, you can put the worker as uh, mining rock, salt and limestone or dig in as clay. So you see currently clay is the thing. I don't have a worker for mining rocks. And the same is for woodshed, but currently in the woodshed level one, you only can have one worker and I don't think you can put them in different areas to specify that you only want logs or only want sticks not for now so yeah you see also what they bring in so the more important stuff is the farming workshop smithy and the tavern so we go with the barn first so you click that and open the option detail you can assign a bunch of worker to the barn but you have two tabs last tab is this similar similar to the resource tab you can see what they are doing but in this tab you can assign specify resource that you want your worker to do like daub here is locked that is because i have not yet reached the level to be able to make this and I have not purchased the schematics to be able to craft dope. Okay, everything else I have so far open. So I can assign a worker to the barn in farming. And I just want that person to make, make flax grain or oat grain or rye grain or all of these grains. The percentage of 25 percent each you know so the worker here will in the barn in the farming area not the field area the field is only go out and sow fertilize harvest so fertilize har harvest year year old year around but if you sign a worker in the actual barn as farming you can uh, have them to specify details here. They they um, they will feed your animals if you have animal feed that is. And they will also do this kind of work. So if you have them a worker skill at one hundred percent, they will not have time to feed your animals. I have no animals yet, so I. But this is what I assume. So make sure that your worker skill power in total of your barn in farming is not 
100%. It should be, I don't know. I, I, I have no clue there yet, but don't, don't put it at 100%. If you have animals, that is. Otherwise, you can put it at 100. So, and, and with this, you, you get this brain. And you also need to click on these to read what, what they need and what you get from it. So the wheat grain here, it gives you, uh, sorry, to get wheat grain, uh, it costs one wheat and you will get one wheat grain and one straw. And it's a crafting and cooking resource, can be crafted on the dressing floor in the barn. It takes a ton of time if you do it yourself. So it's really good to have a worker doing it. I'm pretty sure they work slow, but it's better than you spending time threshing the wheat on the floor, right? So, and the same goes for this and the flags. The floor, it, it takes eight oat grain, but then you have three kinds of floors. So if you don't have oat grain, check the other ones. Do you have rye grain? Yes, I do. Good. Then put this one. Increase that and it will make you floor. And the same goes with daub and animal feed. Animal feed you will need for your animals to get fed. So that's about the barn. For the workshop, press F and you go to the uh, crafting tab. And here you can see what you have locked and unlocked. And the unlocked is paused. So if you have assigned a person in the workshop, you can tell that person, I want shovels of 20% of your time. Uh, whatever, make me arrows, 50% of your time. And you will eventually see how much stacks of 50 stone arrows you actually get. And all these resources is taken from your resource storage, right? So everything ends up at the correct spot. Also, all the tools or weapons that they make will end up in your resource storage box. Okay, not in the box itself on the building like the workshop. It ends up in your resource storage. Make sure you have room there and also that you have the resources the worker needs to make this. You will see in this tab that they have no resource if that is the case all right and it, it's it's the similar with the smithy it's exactly the similar you just have more options here to make iron tools you know and you need to purchase the schematics to make this stuff So currently I have a, I don't, they just, I had an employment a worker yesterday making me iron axe and hammer. And currently they are almost finished with the hammer. I would assume, but I took my worker from the position and put that worker in another place. So that's, that's good. It's paused. It's almost finished my iron building hammer. So when I get back a worker here, it will be finished pretty fast. And the last thing is the tavern. And what you need to think of here, I have an innkeeper here in my tavern. And he, she, she is a her currently. <laughs> And she's making me all these green ones that is working. So you need to make sure, except for example, this stew. If you want her to make stew, there is two kinds of stew. There is one stew here and one there. 
The difference is that this stew is made of one meat and three carrots. The other one is salted meat and three carrots. So if you wanted to make this stew, there is she she can't do the salted meat for you, not yet. So you have to do salted meat. So you need salt and meat and uh, make them. I, I haven't made salted meat, so I, I can't say for sure how you do it, but I'm sure it's not an issue. Um, so yeah, th that's why it's like two pottage meat and this one is salted meat. So make sure you have the right one clicking. You can always go back here in the production and that will say no resource then they can't do this so then you can just go back here decrease that number to zero because she can't make it i mean there is one example here with meat with gravy i wanted her to do that but it demands roasted meat right and i didn't have roasted meat so i put her to do roasted meat up here So she makes roasted meat and when she has made that she was able to do this so i could have this enabled at 15 percent and i did roasted meat as 20 percent so i always have a little oversupply of roasted meat i don't know but you you i hope you understand so all this food actually I uh, I think I checked that last night. I think it ends up in my tavern actually. I I put some stews and pottage myself here, so don't get. But yes, I put ten. I just want I put an even number to see if they ate. They were taking food from here when they are at the tavern, or what they did. But they they didn't. They take the food from your food storage. Your, your workers, right? But in the tavern, if you have an innkeeper here, I was pretty sure that I had an innkeeper here. I don't know why she's why she isn't working. <laughs> Didn't I? Didn't I put an... Yeah, Ludgardia is uh, my innkeeper. So I'm not sure why she isn't here. She should be here cooking. Maybe she's in the food storage and getting food. Check. Nope. All right. Well, anyway, the food that the innkeeper makes ends up in this. So that that's something different. So she has made me roasted meat, roasted fish, one pottage, one meat with gravy, one cruel, and one stew yesterday. I had ten of these three yesterday. I just wanted to have them here to see if they ate food from there. But when it comes to tool making, I had a smithy. The tools didn't end up here. I I just put these torches here, so don't worry about that. The tools ended up in my or resource storage. By the way, I upgraded my resource storage to level two yesterday. And then I removed my level one because I, w I wanted to free free my building's limit. And I also removed what did I remove more? Uh, I can't I can't remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had the sewery. The sewery I removed as well because I can do sewery level two. I'll do that. Maybe. I, I will probably do that, yes. But yeah, so I have this level 2 store resource storage, and that chest gives me 600 instead of um, 300. If you decide to keep your resource storage level 1 and having the resource storage level 2, the, s the chests that have the resources will be combined you can go in your resource storage one, level one 
and you look in the chest and you see that it now contains you can now store stuff there for for up to six uh, 900 kilos 900 because the level two is 600 and the level one is 300 so combined that's 900 so you can reach your resource storage from uh, from any of the buildings so i would also assume this is not tested but if you place another city of your in another location let's say up in the mountains at the mine you want a bigger kind of village here you can probably put a resource storage here and you have a resource storage here and those will be combined so you can get your resources anywhere from these locations right I hope you understand what I'm saying and want you to know I think that that can actually be really good if you are far away from your home city that you have a research storage actually somewhere else in the map that is closer to get all your resources and you can also put your stuff away if you are away working you know cool that is it short video um, I don't think there is anything else for me to really explain I also reach in my tech tree the woodshed 2 I guess you, you can just click this but the woodshed 2 I will I will build that now has uh, uh, an increased range of 100 meters around it and has more worker slots than the lower version so that means I can probably employ two persons that gives me even more wood that would make sense as my village grows the demand for wood will be higher so I need more workers and also the, the range is really good that means we will cut three in a, quite a big surrounding so make sure you have it in the woods get benefit from all the trees all right ladies and gentlemen that's it thank you for listening to me and I wish you the very best day and please hit the like button if you like the content or dislike if you didn't like it leave comments if you want me to do a, a video of other stuff in this game I will keep posting if I find new stuff for you guys and I'm happy to do that yes all right Peace out everyone and have the best day, bye bye.